bless them. God bless them, everyone. They're pulling on it. Yeah. I gotta I anchor it down and get it up there. I gotta restring it. I know, right? Oh my gosh. Yep. That's why they call it high tension lines. I actually do make high tension lines. Which is Can you imagine how much those things weigh? At least four of them in a power truck down there pulling on it. Yeah. Because they ain't just pulling on that piece of line that's there. I know, they're pulling on pulling all, all the way that back. Way over there. All the way down there. That's crazy. They're working hard. Imagine having to tie that thing because that dude was tying it. See that thing he's cranking up there? called a come along. It's a manual tightening uh, rig. Yeah. I thought he was tying it. Nope. He's, he's pulling it tight so he can tie it. That in. lever he's pushing, mm -hmm. every time he cranks it back and forth, it pulls that line he's tighter. Got a little gear that winds a wire up in there. And it tightens it up. I don't know how they do this for 24 hours. By the grace of God. Yep. They better be big getting paid good. One they, of the teachers at the school I used to work at, her husband does it. Yeah, they earn every dime of overtime that they get. Yeah, they do. Gotta keep them safe. Didn't Steven used to work like this? Tree service. Tree service. He was in a bucket up like that, but he was yeah. living out trees. He was using a chainsaw yeah. up that high. Yeah, that's, that's also very good. Yeah, right? Yeah, no, thank you. Well, these power companies have to do that too. They have to limb Yeah, they around. have to take limbs out so they won't mess up the lines. They got one wire back up, and they got like four more to put up. Not to mention all the ones we saw back, back that ways that were on the road and down in the trees. Are we outside of Hayhara? Yeah, this west of Hayhara or east of Hayhara. East side. Yeah. Hayhara, Georgia. June bugs in August, September now. Hmm. This is the aftermath of Hurricane Adelia. Adelia. God bless the linemen. Getting us back our power. Well, it's not us. It's a higher. Yeah. I think Mama means us as a community. Oh. Yeah. I didn't mean our particular house. Though they did... Sure. Probably not these linemen, but other linemen worked on ours so that our uh, neighborhood could have our power back. And I don't think that was from Georgia either. No, I saw someone from Florida. Yeah. There's They're a lot of trucks over. from Florida and other states helping us out after this they hurricane. They were happy they didn't have to drop a new pole there either. Mm-hmm. What, Colquitt's already drop 101 in what 24 hours 65 hours as of last night 65 hours yeah and that was more than the total amount of poles uh, replaced when Hurricane Matthew hit this area nobody was ready for this storm well I mean you can only prepare so much you can't account for down trees you can't keep the trees from falling. 
you know. You can cut them back. Get inside a bunker. Yeah, but the winds were so bad with this hurricane, yeah. it was pulling them up by the roots. Well, it was bad when the winds hit that reverse. I'm, I can almost guarantee that probably at least half of the trees that come down come down when the hit that last hour of the storm when the wind started kicking in reverse or coming the other direction I should say. Amen. Gotta keep them safe.